Hello again and welcome. A few things have been happening over the last week or so. Uh, I've had what I consider my first tank crash, to a certain extent anyway. I've lost three of my corals. The beautiful new rainbow trachyphilia just didn't make it at all. It just literally shriveled and died. Uh, went to the fish store that I got it from, was telling them about it, and they said, well, it may recover or it may not. Of course, their guarantee is quite simple. The moment you've walked over the threshold, that's their responsibility finished. So there could be, as they say before uh, to me, an underlying disease or problem with anything, a fish or a coral, that they can't see, won't know about, and won't make itself known until it's in your tank at some time in the future. Well, that's what happened with the trachyphilia. I also lost a small favia near the uh, trachyphilia um, and also on the left hand side of the tank one of the gold stem torches that got brown jelly which is amazing I mean it's a new tank I hadn't put anything else in it it was all the, the only new thing was the, the the rainbow trachyphilia and one of the zoas that I got I got three zoas yesterday they were on special effectively buy two get one free which was fine um, the left hand one actually has three mollusks on it. Uh, one clam, I thought it was just a jet dead, dead shell, so I started looking at it under the micro, uh, microscope, looking at it under my magnifying glass, and it looked like there were fleshy bits in it. And um, as I was watching, it actually closed up. I put my hand over the top of the tank and it closed up, as clams, good healthy clams will, obviously. Um, so it closed itself up and then opened again. And then the one underneath that, which is a browny green mollusk, looks a bit like an oyster, but obviously isn't. Um, that started to open just a fraction. And uh, that again, you'll see in the time lapse when you look, it closed, open and closed. And then there's one a little bit further back, which opens just a fraction, but I believe it is alive as well. So I think it has closed. I bet the fish shop didn't even see those on there, otherwise it would have cost a fortune to have three of those beauties on there. So we'll see what happens with those. They'll either survive or they won't. And then the green, um, the very green zoa, uh, I noticed a little arm suddenly shoot out and back in again. I thought, hang on, what's going on here? So I watched very, very carefully, and there's an emerald crab in there, which is ideal. Very happy to have an emerald crab. Uh, they are algae eaters, and I have to say the amount of algae in the tank is plummeting at the moment. The um, I call them trochus snails, my LFS calls them trochus snails. Uh, they're doing a very, very good job, and the, the algae's not trying to come back so much again, possibly because of the, uh, the nitrate being so low. So the uh, emerald crab may at the end of the day come out. Whether we'll find much to eat, I don't know. So we'll see. And then the one on the right is more of a pinkish zoa, similar to the one I already had way at the back on the left, but slightly pinker. Um, and it did stand out very well under the blues. But anyway, otherwise, apart from that, there's also um, a colony of favia I put in there. I, I, I just couldn't resist it. It was the second uh, colony we saw in another fish shop. It was two thirds, uh, sorry, three quarters of the price of the one in the other fish shop and the, virtually the same size, and it's beautiful, so I popped it in there. Uh, the other Favias I have in there are doing okay. They are actually, they just don't seem to have done anything, no harm, no good, so they, they seem to be settled. And the only other thing I've done now as well, again, with a, talking to Barry yesterday, he suggested that since I've also bought a chalice, I said I want more things at the top of the tank now rather than at the bottom or middle. And he was said, use your acclimation mode on the Hydra, um, HDs and over the next three weeks the um, acclimation mode starts at 50% of the lighting and over the course of 21 days we'll just ramp the lighting up bit by bit so I'm going to give that a shot as well. All interesting stuff. If you have watched this far thank you and I'll see you on the next one.